Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to another Comedians of Anthony Knows Live. I'm your host, Eric Rivera. Uh, can't do a show without my co-host here, so let's bring him right in. You know him from his HBO Half Hour special, Adorable. Big round of applause for Orlando Labor. What's up, everybody? I'm your co-host? I didn't know that. You're my co-host. You're my, you you this is like, uh, I don't want to say Batman and Robin. I feel like Robin is too, like, like no one ever takes Robin as a compliment. So I, I would. He was good. We gotta find the. We gotta find the two. The two. He got a paycheck. He was in every episode, almost. You know what I mean? Sometimes <laughs> the, being the hero is a little bit overrated, bro. You he can't. had a job. He was consistent. He had a job. He showed up every day. He had benefits. It's good, dude. You can't. Know, everybody can't be the hero, bro. Uh, next person we're bringing into the room. She was also on HBO's Enter. I know she's got a comedy album right now available streaming. Called my birthday is tomorrow. Big round of applause for Vanessa Gonzalez. Hi. Hello, Vanessa. Hey, All how's it going? Austin, Texas. How are you? I'm good. Can I be on that payroll too? Uh, I'll be Robin <laughs> also. <laughs> Whatever y'all need right now, just sign me up. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, I got to see him tape his half hour special. He also did the entry dance, and right now he's on TBS's The Dress Up Gang. Big round of applause, Frankie Quinones. Hey, what's up, homies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's going on, brother? How's everybody doing? Everybody good? Lonely, dog shit. That's why I'm happy to be out here, homie. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Well, let's start with Vanessa. Vanessa, you're in you're in Austin, Texas, right now. Yeah, I came back home, back to Texas, and it's crazy here. It's open. <laughs> hey, I, man, I, I was curious to, to hear about that. Yeah, they just yeah, it's like wide open? If they opened it. I would usually, you know, me and my boyfriend we're trying to, you know, just get takeout once a week, and we went to Pluckers, and people were the Pluckers was packed, y'all. Wow, humble brag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, but then, but no, it's um, it's not really a brag because then I was like, well, I don't want to get it now because everyone's breathing in there, all gross. But Texas is so big, like you could be in Pluckers, and the next table is like a good ten feet away. That's true. Yeah, it's the mall uh, in California is one Pluckers. Here yeah, Texas. like I grew up in New York. You go to a restaurant, the, the person sitting right next to you, just like I don't even notice. Are we touching yeah. elbows. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of space here, but yeah. <laughs> okay, and then Frankie, you in California, like me in Orlando. Oh yeah, homie, everything's uh locked down. It was a trip. Well, I seen the they, that they, uh, even at the parks, how they saran wrap the picnic tables. Even like, oh. <laughs> like man, they really want you keeping your ass home. You can't even go sit at the park. You know, just like that's how we used to shotgun the tables. Yeah. You know, so no one else gets them. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you better reservation. Oh, you saw saran wrap, right? Like, wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like in California, they gotta do things to like keep you out. Like I saw this skate park in Venice. They had to fill it with sand. Just be like, stop coming here. Yeah, man, because you know, you know, you find a way, man. It's crazy. Yes. So there's two skate parks. I live in Los Angeles, for those that don't know, but there's two skate park parks by my house. I'm not going to tell you where I live because I'm not. And uh, <laughs> there's actually uh, skaters traveling over here because I guess the word has spread that, like, all oh, these two skate parks are, like, open. No social distance, no nothing, just the kids out there man. being healthy. And young, they're like, yo, I'll recover from this. Right. But yeah, also, I, they also spread it, you know, it's like, damn. <laughs> yeah. It's no. okay. I think these people are getting stir crazy and just like, at, at this point, they're just get, get not not even caring anymore. Like, I don't know if you guys saw this in the news uh, in, in Florida, which is O's home state. Dude, people were protesting <laughs> to reopen the gyms and they were doing push ups and squats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, man. You know, Florida do, homie. <laughs> I think I think because uh, that picture of Adele came out and it made everyone feel bad that they were 100%. like, "Open up the gyms." Adele lapped us. How did that happen? <laughs> it's not cool. I know. <laughs> Adele lapped. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, so you're Vanessa's home with her boyfriend. O's home with the wife, and Frankie, you just you solo. Solo, homie, live by myself. You know, I got my family lives close by, but we're all keeping it safe because 
my, my, my goddaughter's like a year and a half. My, my grandpa's like 92. So they're mm -hmm. like, they're like, man, you out there. Huh? You, and we, we were in a New York when everything started hitting. So we made it back to Cali. And my mom was like, you know, you keep your ass over there, homie. <laughs> yeah. Keep your ass at home because you bring, you've been at airports and this and that. We got grandpa here. He's 92. And I'm like, so we, but you know, we got the FaceTime and uh -huh. we do it every day. And uh, yeah, no, but I got family, family in Texas also in El Paso. Uh, in, a, yeah. in an Indian reservation. Yeah, so my uncle, though, I sent him a, a iPhone, so now he knows how to use a uh, FaceTime. He's getting oh, used to nice. it, but now I get to talk to him like that. So I'm like, so, you know. When you first started doing the FaceTime, was it just a lot of the ceiling or a lot of uh, just a lot of that? <laughs> yeah, no, for, for real, so my, my, for, especially for my uncle, my Theo, you know, he's like, he's an old ass homie, you know, he's like a chief, you know, of our tribe. <laughs> His his literal literally like the first two ones is just like his mouth right here. He goes, "Hey, mijo, yeah, how you doing?" <laughs> but, and I'm like, "No, like, oh, lower your head a little bit to the thing." Like, you know, it's like he's trying to get used to like that. You know, you can talk. He thinks he has to like talk into it still. You know, and I'm like, I'm like "No, no, homie, you can back up. It's all good. I can still hear you." But, See, that's, my, that's my mom. My mom feels like even with the iPhone, she still has to yell the distance because it's not gonna come <laughs> come through. Like, yeah, I'm in California. She's in New York, so she's got to yell even louder. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's laying out there. <laughs> so it goes through, yeah. So other than I don't know how my mom does it, but my mom's uh she happy birthday to my mom. She just turned seventy three today. And um she has it down, man, but it's only really? through WhatsApp. It's mm. only through WhatsApp. If you like, try to go FaceTime with her or anything else other than WhatsApp, it's not gonna work. So what, what, is, what is WhatsApp? Because I feel like that's a lot of my aunts. They always like, "Mijo, you on the on the WhatsApp?" And I'm like, "I don't even." Yeah, I, I it's have good that. actually. It works. It works good. I think right. What's I that? think I think it's something that got mostly uh, promoted, like in in Latin American countries, or not even mm -hmm. Latin American countries, just internationally. Mm -hmm. FaceTime is more like us, an American thing. And WhatsApp, because even like when I've had the blessings of working like cruise ships and everything, the whole crew, that's how they communicate. And it's crazy because actually it, you're, if you buy minutes, it, they last longer through WhatsApp than if you were to like FaceTime back home. Mm. It was like a calling card almost. Damn, well, that's it's a throwback it, it, right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can talk on the phone. Right? Yeah, you <laughs> could talk, you could talk on the phone uh normally and um then you can also do like a facetime through it they have that option mm. through the whatsapp app yeah and i feel like that's a new way of people cheating on their spouses girlfriends and boyfriends and stuff like that. <laughs> oh true yeah. saying, oh, my aunts have it what are you trying to say oh you saying they're <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, all no. side chicks Yo. uh, <laughs> all your tias side are side chicks, side chicks. <laughs> well, they they side dirty? Dirty? you know what i mean <laughs> Let them, let them live. Let them live, yo. Let them have a little fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, now, have you guys, have you guys succumbed to the quarantine and done like your own? Like, I, I, my wife cut my hair. I don't know if anybody saw it. I did it on live. I just got to a point where I was like, I gotta cut my hair, and even still, it's high because I was like, Yo, don't touch the top. Don't touch the top. Yeah, you get the kid play going. Oh yeah. I was gonna say it's pretty high. Well, I'm nervous. Like. Like you can you can mess this up, but this you mess that up, then then we got a problem. Well, you can't mess this up. This was easy for me. I just did it myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, my barber shut down. Just said, all right, take it back to the old school. Just shave it off. Yeah. What about you, Vanessa? You cutting your own hair? You doing? No, I'm letting it grow. But I did get temptated, like maybe week two to shave my head too i'm like fuck it right summer's coming no one's gonna see me if i if i have to do a, a zoom show i'll put a wig on so <laughs> i don't know i'm i'm still playing with it because it gets hot it gets fucking hot here so my, my yeah don't do it, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. <laughs> thank you all my girlfriends are like oh you're the only one that's straight up like no. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a good friend. Yo. Don't do it. <laughs> if your girlfriend's voice is going up nine octaves, that's never a good sign. Yeah, you should. That could be cute. <laughs> well, guys, that's been enough catching up. I'm sure that our great host, Eric Rivera, has some topics that he wants us to comment on. 
So Eric, what would be the first topic? <laughs> I love uh, I love uh, what is that? Orlando's bad segues here. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I bring it up is because I've been watching a lot of like these tutorials and stuff, and I found this video, and we're gonna play a game called "What Happens Next." This yeah. girl <laughs> invented a machine to eat corn on the cob. I don't know why she thought we needed this machine, but she did. Ready? So I'm gonna show you. Uh oh. Right here. Let's see. Wow. All right, so now I'm gonna ask you guys, what do you think happens next? Does this machine work successfully or what happens next? First of all, that's industrial. <laughs> yeah, and, for real. And uh, uh, I would say not, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work successfully. It doesn't work successfully. Mm -hmm. Vanessa? Yeah, no, I'm going to, I have bad feelings about this. You know, I have that like brujeria and like, you know, <laughs> intuition. And this is telling me mm -hmm. something bad's going to happen. She should have just went for the corn in the cup. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You, you decide to go corn in the cup. My wife, she does the, she takes the knife and just cuts all the kernels off. Oh, yeah. She it up with a spoon, mm -hmm. which blew my mind the first time I saw it because I was always taught. <laughs> Just two hands, bye, 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 typewriter. Mm -mm. Frankie, what do you think happens? I mean, it doesn't look good, man. That just, this that device is too big already. Look like where you, you're going to store that. Just how much corn do you eat? I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, you you got to invest in a big ass machine like that. Like, I don't know, man. She's look, bringing that to the barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I think they can the car, right? Let me bring my machine and shit. <laughs> Here's a better question. If you guys could name this machine, what are we naming this thing? Uh, <laughs> the, 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 cor the, the Coordinator 2000. Yeah. Yeah. Coordinator. <laughs> Top crusher. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Well, there you go, Vanessa. She got the corn and the haircut. <laughs> there you go. Well, I like that you could just keep your hand right there, and it's like it never happened. <laughs> like what's under there? Is a ball patch now? Or like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> that oh, was scary. <laughs> and she had to have somebody else hold it, even like that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, of one of my favorite. One of my favorite. One of my favorite slang terms that has come out of these times are uh, uh, "you're being extra," and I know it's like someone should have told me that. Ah, you're being extra right now. Well, maybe, that was maybe, so she's extra. a young millennial. She's like, I don't want to get my hands dirty. I can, I can Instagram and eat corn. Just yeah, it's, yeah. I'm solving a problem. I think she. I was think she yeah, go I ahead. think she was like, I'm gonna, I'm taking this to Shark Tank. I'm gonna be a millionaire. <laughs> This is just a prototype, guys. This is yeah. just a prototype. You know? and we got to get it back before my dad. These are, this is my dad. These are my tools right. that my dad uses. Yeah. It was That's like a for twenty percent of the company. Who's it? A tutorial to like cut your own bangs, and she just went too high with it. That'll happen, oh, man. All right, this next this next girl is doing a makeup tutorial. Uh, I feel like a lot of these people have now uh, people are just getting becoming experts here when it comes to makeup and hair and whatnot. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys. She's doing a makeup. Does it go well, or what do you think goes wrong? Damn. Well, Oof. it's just makeup. Yeah, but she, it looks like she, she's already messing up just because there's something extra going on on the lip. You see on the on like her right side of her lip, uh -huh. it's like a different shade of the lipstick. I don't know. Something looks weird already. <laughs> well, look, I, I'm just going to say blue eyeshadow. It's, you know, it's not 1999 anymore. So that's wrong right there already, the blue eyeshadow. So you're judging the taste on this. Mm -hmm. That's where it all goes wrong. Yeah, I I can't call it, but I'm along for the ride. Let's go. <laughs> All right, really cute. We're just gonna put that on the tops. 
Let me put a little more on here. All Ooh. right. Everything's looking good. Are you using my makeup again? No. What? For your stupid YouTube? I'm oh. not. Allowed. Get I out. I told you not to touch my makeup. Get out. <laughs> Mom. So Latin mom comes in <laughs> and she puts it all down. <laughs> Mom doesn't care about your subscribers, your views, your likes, none of it. Shut it down. Yeah, she, she needed to get shut down, man. Her lips are looking all jacked up. So I love that just like mama. Just yeah. yelling that takes me back. Mama, stop. Oh, that, do does, that does bring a question to my head, especially having Frankie on this episode. Uh, Frankie, have you been like when you're out because you'd like to take it live out into the world when you're doing some of your characters out into the world? Mm -hmm. uh, have something happen where it's just completely just shut it down? Uh, I mean, I'm never, I want to say like shut it down, but I've been like asked to leave places, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know Did if you saw it. I just went into an Apple store one day and just started doing push ups on the table. You know, <laughs> but the, the girl wasn't like, it was crazy because they were just kind of like that. And then after a while, the manager came in and I, we listened to it over and over. But I swear she told me to get a job. She goes, Can you please leave? Please leave. Get a job. Get a job. Like that. And I was like, I, I do got a job. I'm a fitness instructor, but all right. See you later. Like, but, but yeah, yeah. She just. Hey. She asked me to leave. How long, were you, how long were you in the Apple store before they came and said anything? I mean, I did about, I did like five push-ups, a little shimmy, and like, you know, she was already asking me to leave, but I kind of kept going. Like, you know, she wasn't, it's not like she was going to tackle me or something, but you know, I respectfully, I respectfully left, but, <laughs> but I, yeah, I just hopped out the table and started doing push-ups. You know, I wasn't hurting nobody on me. I was, you know, I'm not like that. I was just, I was just trying to promote, you know, fitness. But, and I was trying to get my headset checked out, but yeah. I remember seeing that I will, I will one. Confidently, I will confidently say this. I think I could fight and beat anyone at a genius bar. I don't think. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hey, God, I know. Hey, hey Orlando, you got some bold statement, homie. I'm going to walk into the Apple store and be like, yo, these dudes in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you better hope none of them are watching this. They're going to start uh, a thread. I, mean, <laughs> I know. They're going to shut you put a face identification on you when you walk into the Apple store. There he is. Store number 145. You just walked in. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Not even then. Just his iPhone starts walk, working. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> going, you want now? the Apple Care on that? I get it. <laughs> we heard you. <laughs> Hey, and congratulations, Frankie, man. You're the first person I know that has a filter for, I guess, for the iPhone also. Like what, oh, for yeah. Instagram. Oh, just for, yeah, for Instagram, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's congratulations. Awesome. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Like, there's an actual creeper filter. I play with it a little bit and uh -oh. stuff, but I didn't post it. Nah, I didn't post it. You know me. I'm very <laughs> anti. Post it. I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was just based off a of homie. It was like, hey, man, I think I could do this. Like, he was like learning, like, you know, and I was like, well, all right, just give it a shot. And you just submit it to Instagram for approval. And then they were like, yeah, okay, cool. You know, they don't put it out, but, you know, you promote it yourself. And yeah, yeah, you promote it. Just add it to it's my, it's, filter. It's, yeah. on, it's on my actual Instagram, bro. That's awesome. So, wait, are we ever going to see a, uh, 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 like, a, a Cholo Fit? quarantine fitness program yeah i've been i've been doing some man i did like a, I'll, I'll do like some ig lives or i got like some fitness ones you know like uh i did one uh well shit i got where did i put that i did one like i got like this like where i got so, like a bag of frijoles like right here and then, you, know, you put it to a hat and then it helps you with your neck muscle to say what's up because right now you can't shake hands or anything and, and you're wearing a mask so folks can't tell if you're happy or sad to see them because they can't see your mouth. They don't know if you're like that or like that. So you have to give it like that to say what's up. <laughs> so a lot of folks, and there's a lot of, it's a stressful time. So a lot of folks have been pulling their neck muscles and just saying what's up. So this mm -hmm. kind of helps like build up that strength. So then, like. yeah, because you know, so then you could just say what's up to folks. And then the, like, the double chin, it also helps too, probably. <laughs> yeah, all, all of that. So <laughs> yeah. that's, that's one of the quarantine workouts I've been working on, but yeah. 
Like, what do, you think, what do you think happens when stand-up comes back? We don't do the handshake no more. Is it going to be the what's up? Man, I know. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a legit one. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you could do, you got a little bit of Chicano in you, homie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! I can't perform anywhere where they where they tell me I look like the American me character. Oh, Popeye! Popeye, yeah, dude. <laughs> when, when the real, give me some real, chon chon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've actually had guys yell that at me, and I'm like, "Yo, suspect, keep it moving." <laughs> <laughs> not, you 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 have an ambiguous look, though, man. It's good. Like even some oh, of your big friends, word. Like, I don't know what that is, bro. I look it up. And- <laughs> Google. You know what I'm saying? Because you could put the hair out. There, you got their shirt. You put the glasses on. You could be good. Like, I'm like, because yeah, you know, yeah. like the last two flyers of this show. I'm like, is that? Is- oh, it's still alive. <laughs> Yeah, before yeah. we went live, he was doing tech support. I was like, okay, maybe he's, yeah. <laughs> he's a man of many faces. I mean, that's what's up. Yeah, I remember when I lived in Miami, they would try to, like, uh, associates would try to be like, hey, man, uh, you know, why don't you, uh, why don't you, like, go and deal with, with uh, the people that we got to deliver this stuff to in, uh, you know, on Martin Luther King Boulevard. And I was just like, what? Yeah. Exactly. The way you were looking. But they were basically telling me, since I spoke Spanish, to also go to the black neighborhood and, like, deal with the with the clients in the black neighborhood. And I was like, what? <laughs> Dude, I, got, I have coloring books. What are you talking about right now? <laughs> people, people see opportunity in you, man. man. Good. Because I'm ambiguous. <laughs> is that now? Is that on your resume? And I could be ambiguous. No, I don't know. I, I'm gonna look it up on the Google. Oh uh-huh, yeah, yeah. That. I I, th- I think I know what it means. I'm like, <laughs> 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 I hope it's probably Oh, do you, when you get any forms, they ask the race. You just check other ambiguous. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. Like I could be a lot of things. Don't trip. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> Man, big with American, yo. Just <laughs> oh, yeah. also, Wait, so, oh, go ahead. No, no, I was saying I, I got another clip for you guys because oh uh, yeah, let's do it. Another clip. This happened this week. I don't know if you guys saw Alex Jones. Okay. Who's always clip worthy? He was talking about if 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 he should run out of food. Like what? Like I don't know if anybody's got to that point yet where the cupboard's getting low and like uh what are we gonna do here? Mm-hmm. Well, my man had some interesting. Yeah, hold on, let's pull this out real quick. Um, hold on. I don't know. This is makes me more nervous than the corn. He left. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it just does now, guys. <laughs> That's why we have a co-host. Yeah. <laughs> He's a genius, buddy. Apple people, they found me. Hey, see, yeah. the, Apple yeah. people, the Apple people are in there, man. Nah, fool, take away a screen share. Yeah. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> they took you out the show. Uh, All right. Here we go. Alex Jones. I'm starting to think about having to eat my neighbors. You think I like sizing up my neighbor? How I'm going to haul him up by chain and chop his ass up? I'll do it. But I'm literally looking at my neighbors now and going, I'm ready to hang them up and gut them and skin them and chop them up. You know what? I'm ready. My daughters aren't starving to death. I'll eat my neighbors. Well, my baby's coming to the equation. I will cook your ass up so fast. Wow. That ass. He wants to eat the ass. <laughs> Did he say the ass? Yeah. yeah. Chop your ass up. And eat. Does he not got Postmates? <laughs> Is that they, 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 they can't he can't find lunchables? He's going. Why does he sound like he's choking all the time? I'm like he needs to go like um <clears throat> right clear that throat, man. Damn. I, like I, I know me personally, I have not gotten to that point of like, all right, because in the beginning when all this lockdown happened, I, I kept hearing people like, oh, it's like look at it, it's like walking dead. I am legend. Here we come. But I haven't gotten to the point where I'm looking at my neighbors going, 
Uh, what do they got over there? I know. I mean, I wonder how his neighbors feel about his comments, like his actual neighbors. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like, like, eye contact with him. It, it was, <laughs> but yeah, and he my can't hang on my chains. Like, he's going all out. He already he thought it all out, homie. Like, that is some scary shit right there. And yeah, spit it on put, video. He, yeah. he didn't. He forgot to turn off his. He turned off his inten, internal filter. <laughs> and they didn't know where to stop because he got all in the ass too. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> Are you going that deep, bro? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to eat the ass first, you know? That's the best part. They go, all right, they are, man. <laughs> I, I like the as a true white person, he didn't say what he was going to season it with or if he was using sauce. It's just no. bland ass. He's no, just man. bland meat. Yeah. Can't it's do that, dog. Mustard, that's about it. Yeah. Can't do that. That's, that's, a bad, that's a bad idea. You get the shake. Right. <laughs> I want I the know. daughters are going to be like, which, what? Yeah. This is our yeah. neighbor? <laughs> yeah. Can we get McDonald's? Yeah, yeah. Dad, wow. I'm vegan. They just start dropping. They just start leaving food off at his doorstep. So hey, you don't need to eat us, homie. We got you. Neighbors <laughs> 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 are just dropping off care packages now. Like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, one, the one cool thing I did, I have liked about the quarantine is we're seeing a lot of creativity happen. And we're starting to see, like, I, I, I don't know if you guys been watching the versus battles. Like, we're watching old school cats come out and just do their thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Eric Badu came out, Jill Scott. Like, we're watching uh, The Last Dance. We, we talked about that last week with MJ. Like, reliving, like, the, the highlights almost. And then, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys saw this week, Mike Tyson drops a workout video of him Ooh. training. Like, Ooh. Oh, is he coming back? Dog, he looked good in that video, homie. I was like, I was not expecting that. Because, you know, you see him on his podcast. I'm like, all right, he kind of let it go. He's just getting high. He puts some weight on. Like, you know, that's he just he retired. That workout video, I'm like, man, he, he still got it. Yeah. Did you see it? Did you see it, though? I saw it, man. And it's like, here's the thing. I, I never doubted it. <laughs> because I get, I've seen... Like all you gotta do is type in Mike Tyson highlights, and it's like you don't you don't lose that. Also, I've also uh, I used to work for a news uh, station. I used to back in the day, and I worked with the sports department a lot. Mm -hmm. And no matter how old these athletes are, they still there's they still have like that spurt that like I don't know how long they can maintain it. But they can. So I never doubted it. I was just like, yeah, like never did it cross my my mind. Like, oh, if I saw Mike Tyson now, I could probably take him. You know, <laughs> never. Yeah. You know, he don't never. work in an Apple store. But Come you, on. you, yeah, you will. You're a savage. You'll take out everybody at the Apple. Store. <laughs> and I don't know what Apple to, but I've seen some pretty big dudes right at the Apple store. I've and never some seen a big dude at an Apple store. Me either. I have, man. And some <laughs> big dudes, you know, you let those eyeglasses mess you, uh, trick you into thinking. You don't need muscles you know, to lift up an iPhone or even, the, what's the biggest thing they got there? The, the screen? Come on. Man. You don't know, man. You don't know. There's these, there's these, there's it's these people be. now that look very simple. And they're like that. They're simple. They're at the. They have their little red shirt. How may I help you? Oh, you're into the new iPhone. But then they clock out. They pop in that Joe Rogan podcast, and they're at. You know, they're they're out there doing Brazilian jiu jitsu. Yeah, but Eric, yeah. Eric goes on morning walks every day. So yeah. Oh, you don't know what I'm doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know he's not doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I know that. Because if you pay attention, he's walking with a scooter. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, did you drop the ball today? Oh, forgive yourself. Just pick it back up. This is Eric Rivera. <laughs> I will say, though, if he does come back, who's not going to pay to see that fight at this point? Like, if you would have done oh, it before man. quarantine, Everybody's like, no, nah, I'm not buying that. That's 
he's washed up. But now Evander Holyfield dropped his his video what yesterday. Mm-hmm. You we're, we're we're stuck at home. Wait, how how old is Mike Tyson? How old is Mike? Here, hold on, I'll, I'll Google this right now. Mike Tyson. There an cap that they let. He's he is fifty three. Fifty two. Fifty three. Fifty three. Yeah, man. I, mean, I don't know. Like it looks like he still got it, but to but to, to be taking punches at fifty three, I mean he's already. Yeah. Had, Evander know, is fifty seven. Yeah, right. But he still looks great. I saw Evander on that episode of that show where A Rod tries to teach people how to, whatever, uh, like re recapture their lives. It's A Rod, so whatever. <laughs> capture <now>. their lives. <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to like work with money, you know, like oh, like I made all these. Yeah, so you learn how to hit a ball. Relax. <laughs> oh. Petty. I'm petty against a rock. Anyway, <laughs> any any your Dominican brethren? What is it? No, dude. No, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I will not let you disrespect a rock like this. And the only reason I would say that is because he is dating the the Puerto Rican queen Jennifer Lopez. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some breaks on this. That, exactly. I'm a I'm all right again. <laughs> Just because two super villains get together doesn't make them good. Super, <laughs> super villains. Oh, I don't like this talk. She was a fly girl. Oh, she was Selena. Yeah. <laughs> Selena. Yeah, people were all mad at first that she wasn't Mexican, and then right. she killed it. And they were like, no, "Okay, it's cool then." Like, you know, right. like then it was all good. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 hey, yeah. Vander Holyfield looks great. Yeah. 57 53. This is a fight no one would have paid to see, what, uh, two months ago? Yeah. But now I, they'll see it. I'd pay for it. It's all they about the it. reboot. So. It's the reboot. Like Vanessa said, I just don't want them to get hurt. So, <laughs> no, I don't even want to see it, man. I like think about it. think about pre quarantine and don't get me wrong no disrespect to baby face or Teddy but like before quarantine would you have paid to see them sing off you'd have been like eh. no but no one paid now I would have seen it I think this was a a great idea that now people have come up I want to see it with comedy though I like mm -hmm. to see that how do you pull that off with comedy I would I would do like uh, George Lopez. And um, Cedric the Entertainer. But are they doing bits or are they just snapping? Uh, One-liners. If they have their full tool bag and they're like one-liner guys, one-liners. Bam, bam. And like go back and forth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or bits. They can do a whole bit. Mm -hmm. Especially okay. with George. Good storytelling. You know what I'm saying? Gabriel, another great storytelling. Mm -hmm. So you would see George and Cedric. That's your versus. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see that. What about just you, them Frank? sitting and and like that, or sometimes it's like kind of like just telling a story from the road. Uh huh. And then we 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 all get to press the little hearts. <laughs> little hearts. <laughs> I'm all right with a Rod, dog. I'm all right. <laughs> Come on, man, dude. I, you know, he was a Yankee. A New York Yankee. Hey, I love your segues, Orlando. <laughs> yeah, why you gotta bring A Rod back into this? I feel like this guy. Not a fan. What did he do to you? What did he do to you, oh? No, what? Yeah. He just wanted to talk about it. Because he, huh? he does his morning walks? Why are you upset with this dude? <laughs> yeah. But you're watching his videos, right? And to recapture your life and all that? Or? Huh? But you watch his videos on how to recapture your life? or No, I saw that one episode with Holyfield, and then I was like, to try to see if I could get over. Uh, and I couldn't. I couldn't. Like, nah, I'm good still. I'm good, Lord. So whenever you see A-Rod, you just shut it down? Like, if you saw him on Shark Tank, you're like, I'm out. I'm not. I didn't watch none of that season that he was on. <laughs> oh, you missed out on all the inventions. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys. Do you guys watch it? See the invention? Even if they don't get a deal, I look it up. I'm like, how much is that thing? I might buy them them slipper shoes that have suction cups. 
<laughs> so Frankie, who would you see versus if, if it, was, it was a comedy edition? Because I know Kevin Hart said he would do it. Like, who would you want to see? Uh, yeah, but that I think well, Orlando, you're talking about just like uh, how they're doing in music, where they're not like battling each other, right? Like they're just boom, one goes back and forth. Yeah, yeah, it's not really a battle. It's just everybody. Like actually, the fans is what make it a battle. Because with that Teddy Riley and Babyface, it was just so many hits. Right. Yeah, I saw that whole thing. Was the whole was like, shit. That was crazy. Was like, wow, this was my whole junior high, yo. This was like my whole days in junior high. I loved it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be funny, man. Because, like, when you mentioned Kevin Hart, I picture, like, him, like, like you remember man, when him and uh, Mike Epps got in that, that uh, battle online? That <laughs> shit was so funny. But like, but, like, that, I picture them, like, capping on each other back and forth. But, yeah, 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 I think it would be more fun, like, the storytelling. Oh, the, like, Kevin Hart and Cat Williams, just storytelling. Like, you Whoa. tell a story, I tell a story, and there's a time on every story. So you have three minutes. Doesn't Cat have, like, legit beef with Kevin? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's definitely talked some shit. Yeah, yeah. I remember he, uh, there was one video that came out on TMZ that made me laugh because he was challenging him, but not just on comedy, but on everything. Ah, right, Kevin, we can play baseball. We can swim. We can <laughs> knit. We can play checkers. I was like, yo, what? What is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, at this point, I want to see Lando and A Rod back yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for that. I'll pay for that and see that battle. Uh, I'll, see that I'll, battle. I'll let you know. A Rod will win. A Rod will win. <laughs> he just, he's just going to throw money at the at the problem. Yeah. He's throw money. And like that, you'll just see money hitting the screen. And like he'll type it in. Whoever likes me more gets $10,000 right now. You know? <laughs> well, I'm like. But I didn't see him throw. I didn't yeah. see him throw. I was like, sorry, Lando, but. <laughs> <laughs> hard, 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 hard. No, no, I'm curious. To bring into, oh, oh who, who else are you petty with right now? Uh, you got A Rod on your list. Who else is on this list? J Lo's on the list, too. Why is J Lo on the list? No, man, come on. J Lo, she the queen, my boy. What's up? She's the Super Bowl. She, she represents. Right. My She's mom. Right. Yeah, the only reason I have to have her back is my mom it, like, loves J like, loves Lo. So I yeah. took my mom to go see her in Vegas. And I swear she made eye contact with me and I felt something. And I felt like, I, not that we were like, you know, it was just like, all right, girl, you are the queen. Like, that's what's up, you know, like, but uh, anyways, you know, so that's that's my defense is that my mom loves her. So we're that, still cool. We're still, you and me are cool. <laughs> and she's 50, dude, she looks amazing. Uh, that's the thing that blew my mind. Like we saw, when I saw our Vegas show, I mean, she's going 100 miles an hour the whole time. I'm in the whole like do and do and do and for changing outfits and da 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 and and to be that age and just looking that like I mean, she just but you know no alcohol, strict diet like just I follow her on Instagram. I see a little six pack. I tell my wife all the time. I'm like, you better start acting right. She's like, oh, she 50. I'm like, I still trade you in. <laughs> Man, I feel bad. I I did laundry today and I had to take a break after the laundry. <laughs> I don't know if I could do a show like that. <laughs> my back hurts. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, when I when I do my shows, man, when I could have to close that creeper, and then everybody wants to do a squat after. Like I'm I'm sore for like two three days after a weekend. Oh, I'm I'm like, I do see you in the pictures. You always squat like. Yeah. Nah, one time, my host he he, he had because we have clickers that like, make sure we do head counts, and he's yeah. counting how many squats I did over weekend. I did like three hundred and eighteen. And then I'm like, that's why my shit, you know, because I'm be 40 this year, homie. So I'm, I'm like Monday, Tuesday. I'm like, I, you know, I got to like, you know, I'm putting ointments on and shit. Like fucking creeper, man. He's breaking my back, literally. I but see hot. Yeah, the I see hot. <laughs> you know what's up, homie. Yeah. This, is, this is great, man. Like, like right now, for example, I'm on J-Lo's Instagram. I haven't been here before. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, hey, get involved, homie. See, yeah. Uh, cert certified 120 million. Probably mm -hmm. Frankie, your mom's probably here. <laughs> oh, for sure, homie. She's hard to take. Let's just take a let's take a little look, you know. I'm official. Let me see. Uh boom. And there then we'll scroll up. Let me see. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, J-Lo. Yeah. Who else? Look, is see, there? all about familia and everything. Yeah, right? yeah. And J-Lo. Yeah. More like J-Lo. You see A-Rod right there. Oh, there's certain A-Rod. Yeah. <laughs> and more J-Lo. And okay. more J-Lo. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah, that's age, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. A... <laughs> He's mad. He's mad because she posts about herself. <laughs> oh, he didn't know Orlando. <laughs> that's hilarious. You go to somebody's Instagram page. Look, that, that, that more than that. Man. I know. I'm gonna it's start man, man. somebody else. <laughs> yeah, Look, she's only posting about herself. Mine is just me On too. Her Instagram <laughs> uh, fans. I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, do you want like do you want to see like normal pictures like oh guys half a sandwich? Mm. <laughs> Curly fries, <laughs> right? Curly fries. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What kind of pose do you the want to see? The only one that the only one that figured it out right away, uh, it was Vanessa. She goes, Oh, it's only <laughs> pictures of herself. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, because that's how mine looks. Yeah. yeah. That's how ours look. If I'm going to the front door, that's everybody. Yeah, well, I'm going to look at your, your page, Rhonda. For the next month, us three will just Should post pictures of Rhonda. Let's look up A-Rod. Go ahead, look up A-Rod. Oh, God. A- A-Rod's is going to be all J-Lo, too. Yeah. It's going to be centaurs. <laughs> I never knew this hate from Orlando. I know. Yeah. Look at Lando. Yeah. Look, look at Orlando. Made that more. Lando. That's now, now, look at those ambiguous looks. There you go. See? No. 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 He's showing that. I could be this guy. More look at that guy. More that's, it, that's, his, that's his tech support uh headshot right there. there you <laughs> go. More. Hey, can, can head of head of service. No, I no, 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 no. Can you put it back to to all the pictures? Uh oh! Oh, oh, he's challenging me. Oh. I mean, he did have me, homie. Because when I did see it, I was like, you know what? There is more than just him on there. Okay. He knows Let's what go I'm back doing. Up to the top. Let's go to the top. As much as I don't want to clown, oh, oh, is a big supporter. He does post about everybody. I know, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, you make me feel bad now, homie. Yeah, we all feel bad now. We're all like, you better stop posting about other people. I'm trying uh, to get the yeah. camera to focus. No, let's point, yeah, let's point, let's let's bring up that middle picture. I don't want to drag. Tap on that middle picture. The top middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. homie, man. Damn. Yeah. You want to know? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 120 million followers, and you couldn't even say one thing about something that happened to another human being. Wow, he's dropping bombs! <laughs> Damn, there you go. You you convinced me. Fuck J Lo. <laughs> fuck A Rod. Fuck J Lo. I'm gonna check Kevin Hart shit see if he posted anything about it. <laughs> let's go. Let's go with A Rod. Okay, let's see it, homie. How many followers do you have? Oh, I thought you were gonna follow him. Nada. That's look, all. Oh, look, J-Lo. Is that Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> J-Lo now. Yeah. By okay. the way, by the way, I just did a quick check on my other celebrity crush to make sure it passes O's test. Salma Hayek actually posted. Look at that. Right there. 100%. Uh, I ride her down with Salma Hayek. Okay. Salma Hayek oh, should have oh. been Selena. Period. Selma should have been Selena. Selma should have been Selena. Period. Ooh. I don't, I love, hey, I love Selma Hayek is like man. I, I was I'm so in love with Selma Hayek. Like she's I, I when I was serving tables here too. I served her one time at the at, when I used to work at the while well, I was a food runner. I didn't I didn't be make my way up to the server, but I was dropping food off and then and then uh I was like I dropped the we start off with bread. You know like this fresh baked bread. And I dropped it in front of her. She goes, oh, fuck. Like, just dropped the F-bomb like that. Like, you know, like, fuck, bread. I love it. Like, I should have need it. And I was like, hell yeah. She was cool as hell, man. So ever since then, I've been like, that's what's up. And right or die. Like, by yeah. the way, by the way, we could see Edwin because he sees that I'm getting real petty. And he's trying to produce <laughs> the show 
<laughs> online. Let's click on Edwin's comment again. Because from a distance, he's trying to reel me back in. Because he wasn't expecting or this Orlando to show up. And uh, thanks to Edwin Licona, one of the producers of, uh, of Enter the Nose, we take time to bring it back to a positive topic, which is congratulations to Eric Rivera, everybody. Yes. Yay. To Amazon Studios. Congratulations. How does that feel, Eric? Thank you, brother. It felt good. It, 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 I had this, the, so I had sold the show a while back, and it just came out on the press. So it felt good to get that validation. Like you know, That's when, so awesome. I feel like in LA when you do something like, "Yo, I did this." I didn't see nothing in the tray. I mean, yeah. did you really though. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, and yeah. I was proud of you, and I was proud of you, and I shared it on my Instagram. Uh, J Lo and A Rod didn't. Just they putting did. that out there. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm proud of you, man. It, mm -hmm. it takes a lot of hard work, especially during this That's time awesome. that everything was up in the air. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure you're going to look for a lot of unique voices. I really like Vanessa's voice. Vanessa Gonzalez has a great voice. Thank you. Like, I'm gonna start posting. Knows in a Comedy Central, everybody. I don't know if you oh, guys yeah? know that about the wonderful Vanessa. Thank you. The minute that I saw her, I was like, "Oh my god!" Wait, when did you see her? Oh, I saw her. Was it at South by Southwest? Yeah, I think that's where we met at South by here in Austin. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what we met. And yeah. I saw her perform and I was just like done. And um, right away, I, I, I believe I might have gotten into Edwin's ear. And then, um, but I think Comedy Central was already in the works way back then already. Uh, might have been, might have not. No, no, it came after the HBO, the Entrenos thing, definitely. But uh, that's so sweet. Thank yeah. you. I wasn't at the taping, but I, I got. <laughs> I, I remember people like Eric and people coming up and being like, wow, man, like, cause you weren't expecting, but I already <laughs> knew what fire you come with. So was like, oh, here's this innocent librarian. Where the fuck your books, bitch? <laughs> so we taped the journals together and we had a dinner and she was yeah. real quiet. And like, you know, when you meet comics and like they're real quiet, you're like, oh man, this is not gonna be good. Like, too quiet. She's too quiet. Like, I was like, I don't know if she's gonna do well out, up there. And even I don't like the way you judge people so fast. Though. Yeah, no, damn, man. Like, you know, like, you, know, like, you, you, like, you can tell Eric, she you, threw, you threw a blanket over all the people. Oh, I did. You know, I was like, damn, man, I could be kind of quiet sometimes. Like, yeah. <laughs> she was too quiet. She was like very, like, shy to herself. And I was like, oh, I don't think. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, the reason I was quiet at that dinner because I had never had lobster before, and I was like, I can't afford this. So, and then I just I didn't know who was paying. That's why. And, I was I, and then the night of the taping, oh. all the comics are going into every everybody's room except Vanessa. Vanessa's there. I believe that was your manager, and you guys were just very quiet and very like. And I was like, Oh, I don't think I don't think this girl's gonna do well. Like, I'm just basing it on knowing interacting with her backstage. I've never seen her do comedy. <laughs> he gets up there. So you judge people, that. Eric, is what you say. Yeah. <laughs> quick, quick. Boom. He just boom, right? That first hit, I was like, oh. And just like as I'm watching her set, it's like it's almost like the incredible hope. She's just getting stronger and strong. And I was like, yo. I was like, he is a killer. And then I told Jesus. Edward. Edwin came up behind me. He's like, what do you think? I was like, yo, I'm just glad I'm not following her. Yeah. <laughs> and word for word, that's what that's the conversation that Eric had with me after, like uh -huh. after your taping. So we were all very proud. And we're proud that you were able to take off with the Enter the No spam. Uh, the old school Enter the No OG is what Frankie is with us. And every time yeah. he's been on, it's been fantastic, man. Yeah, Frankie. Frank is oh. another killer. I saw you, dude. I I was at that first Entreno's taping. I was backstage and I got to see you, and you just annihilated. Ah, oh, thank you, homie. Yeah, and then I, uh, yeah, and then uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm grateful, grateful as hell. 
to do that. So Edwin, I know you watch it on me. Thank you, man, for starting this whole thing for us. <laughs> I know. Thanks. I know it's like it's pretty badass that it's kind of it's brought us all together because I didn't know you you guys before entre nos. Oh yeah, but that but that's that's what that's that's what this does entre nos, and that's what like we gotta constantly keep doing is just you know coming together and helping each other out and being you know unified because like for the longest time like the industry only knew like a couple kinds like oh you George Fluffy and Mancini yeah. that's all they knew mm-hmm. and, and like I started doing that show at the Laugh Factory and it's cool to be like oh you should know Frankie you should know Vanessa you should know Orlando you should know all this talent that's out there and it's been like people keep coming out like oh my god. Where'd you yeah, find these people? I'm like, they're out there. You just you gotta look for them. They're there. Yeah. And, no, and to and to be able to know someone like Edwin Licona, again, the producer, and after this we'll change the topic because you start gassing him up like this. Next yeah, he, he's, 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 he just stood he up started. right now. He was sitting down and now he's like Yeah, he, he sits up and next yeah. thing you know, he's posting his workouts and his sneakers. It's yeah. very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but with someone like Edwin, like for him that he listens, he, he, he knows what he's doing, but he's also, he also takes the time. Even if you come with him with craziness, he'll lend you an ear. He'll be like, oh, what? Oh, I should check out Vanessa. Oh, I should check out Eric. Oh, I should see yeah. Orlando. And he takes the time yeah. to listen to what the streets are just talking. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't just listen to J-Lo and A-Rod. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good though, man. Because getting getting it out there, like entre nos too, it's also proving that that our uh, you know our voice sells across the board. Like you know, there's like like you said, Eric, when you do the show at the the laugh factory, it was all backgrounds and it was white people there, like just loving it and just like, hey, man, proving to the industry that uh that you know is, you know we're we're we got something for everybody, homie. We're just trying to have a good time, just like you, you know. So it's all. I think it's a good thing because it's just proving, you know, it's proving it. Yeah. Yeah. We're all bringing something different. It's, it's so awesome. And I look up to all of y'all and this is, this is so great. So on that positive note before Orlando gets petty, let's wrap it up here. Uh, <laughs> Vanessa, let's what touch you- the highlights. What did we learn? <laughs> <laughs> you you learn not about yourself. <laughs> we learned that Vanessa Gonzalez is a killer. Yes. Yeah. Her comedy we album. That, yeah. Frankie Frankie Kinos is a fantastic human being, super funny, and get his filter on Instagram. Yeah. Get his filter <laughs> on Instagram. You know, I just posted and we learned one of my secret uh that one hardly comes out. This was truly an exclusive. You got so Arch Nemesis. Arch yeah, Nemesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Vanessa, where can people find you? Um, I'm at VanessaComedy.com, at uh, Vanessa Marie on Instagram, B-U-H-N-E-S-S-A-M-A-R-I-E. All right. And, and my birthday's tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Birthday. It's tomorrow. I have a comedy album, My Birthday's Tomorrow. Uh, it's streaming. You can That's- buy it on Amazon. It's on Spotify. I also got pins of the album I'm selling to. Mermaid. That was, by the way, as a little boy, that was the best piece. If you got the board with that piece. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to put stars on it. I'm the <laughs> pity. <laughs> All right, Frankie, where can people find you, man? Uh, just at Frankie Quinones uh, and then, uh, you know, Cholo Fit Creeper. And uh, yeah, please, uh, there's a show called The Dress Up Gang that just dropped on TBS. All the episodes are available on demand. If you want to check that out, homie. And then, uh, yeah, just the YouTubes and all that shit. And then, uh, yeah, keep tuning in to Entre Nos, homie. All those things that, all the uh, Entre Nos is on demand, too. So keep watching that, y'all. Yeah, Mm -hmm. HBO Max launches next month. All that stuff is going to be there readily available. So go get it. Uh, Orlando. Hey, Orlando, man. I'm sure so during this break, you didn't change your handles to at no a rod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, he gets upset. Dog. You just say a rod. J Lo, look, see, like, man. <laughs> that's, that, that's his hint there, too, homie. <laughs> I feel like if me and O are ever out and somebody starts some some kind of fight, I just got to whisper in his ear, A-Rod, dude, A-Rod, go. Dude. That's cute. A-Rod, awesome. J-Lo, yeah. Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. 
know what? Right. Uh, all bad. That's going to be surprise. next episode. That's going to be you're next surprised. episode. <laughs> From you, yes, because you're such a positive dude. I didn't know there was a list. I didn't know yeah, there was a list. Elon Musk, and I'm out. I'll take that one. But, man, but you want to hate on J-Lo, man, and A-Rod? <laughs> hey, Frankie, relax, bro. Do I need to show you the Instagram again? Do I need to show you the Instagram again? Oh, hey, hey. Stop backing her up. Everybody needs to watch Adorable if you haven't seen it already. Oh, that's that's what Orlando's Yo, happening. You remember. Special. Yo, forget that. You remember, <laughs> you remember when those kids were by the border and they ended up in cages? How could I? How could I forget, man? We did how a show. You forget, man, right? Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, we Let's did shows. Say, What's up? Yeah, yeah. You did shows, you went out there, man, and you're just starting to make your way in this industry, man. 120 million followers. <laughs> hey, I, I'm a, I, <laughs> but I will say this though, man, I, I've done shows and I've donated a lot. And sometimes I have trouble, uh, like even I did a live stream and you know, that people could live tip. I donated all the tips to Project Hope and I hate, but I don't, I have a thing where like, I have, I feel like there's a tasteful way to post that, you know, like I don't want to post it to be like, hey, look, I'm a good person because I do it. I, they posted it on their page. I kind of left it at that. But I don't know. Maybe there's a tasteful way to be like, hey, yo, I'm not posting this to make myself look cool. Like this is just but you should know about this organization. But uh, I'm just saying, Orlando, like, you know, I do donate. So I don't know. Maybe A-Rod and J-Lo. Then maybe donate. they give a couple million. Maybe they give some baseballs. We don't know. Yeah, Orlando. But for whatever reason, maybe they want to keep up that off their Instagram. But I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, I just want to say, Orlando, <laughs> I believe you, and I'm with you. I'm not trying to do all that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, mad. I'm mad with you. <laughs> you guys can find me at Eric Rivera Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I also have a half-hour special called Super White streaming now. So watch Orlando's Adorable, then watch me, Super White, on HBO. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging with us. Yeah. And, oh, we'll uh, be back next week on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll be back next week. Every Wednesday, 5 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock Eastern time. If you live in the middle, I don't know. You got to do the math. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's <Yeah>. 7. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Stay safe. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to my feelings about Tesla. <laughs> <laughs>